As anticipated, the number of cases and deaths continues to grow daily. More than 23,000 confirmed cases in New York State, 183 deaths in New Jersey, over 2,800 cases, 27 deaths, and then Connecticut with more than 400 cases and 10 deaths. Well, the hardest hit area of the country, New York City. 125 people have now died from the coronavirus. We've learned a Brooklyn High School principal is one of them. Total cases across the five boroughs, top 13,000. We have team coverage, and today in New York's Catherine Craig begins that in Lower Manhattan with more on how the NYPD is dealing with a major uptick of sick calls, Kat. And Darlene and Michael, Major is right. You have more than 2,400 New York City police officers who are out sick. It accounts for about 7% of the police force. And here at police headquarters, it's something that NYPD leaders tell us that they anticipated and they do expect the numbers to grow. Taking a look at this, speaking of numbers, we know 100 NYPD uh, sworn members of the police force have tested positive for the coronavirus in all more than 2,400 officers. Officers are out sick. The NYPD has distributed personal protection supplies to its officers and staff equipment, including masks and gloves. With the sick calls, the NYPD released this statement saying, quote, so far, these absences have had a minimal impact on our ability to keep the people of New York City safe and respond to those requiring assistance. The governor had this to say about the illnesses in the city and across the state. Let's take a listen. This is going to get much worse before it gets better. Uh, we are still in the relative calm before the storm. And taking a look at this, this is something that so many people have seen on a drive we took around Midtown Manhattan yesterday morning. During the morning rush, we saw empty streets. Still, elected leaders are calling for the need of more social distancing. The mayor, in fact, cautioning people about parks. Michael, the mayor, saying officers may give warnings and break up large groups that they see. Reporting live, Catherine Craig, today in New York. We'll send it back to you, Michael.